Hello, Edge here with the ViewSonic G Tablet, uh, running TNT Lite 2.20. I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at the notification bar. Uh, the Tech Man 123 on YouTube was asking about the notification bar, so I'll talk a little bit more about it right now. Um, I do want to say, though, um, that I'm using ADW Launcher, as is evident by what it says right there. Um, that's not what TNT Lite comes with. Uh, ADW Launcher is available for free from the marketplace. So if you want to have a launcher that's just like what I'm showing here, grab ADW Launcher from the market. Now, um, there's also another fix I made which uh, to this, which allows for this home button to actually work as a home button. So that if I'm in, let's see, yeah, if I'm in my email, for example, you can press that home button and it takes you back home again. That's not enabled by default. It is in the 2.2.1, but not in 2.20, which uh, which is what I'm running right here. Of course, the uh, menu button works, and also the back button works. So if you need to go back for any reason, you can use the soft button to do so. Clicking on time doesn't do anything. Now this is the um, your alerts, and this is where, for example, right now my G tablet is connected to the computer. I have debugging on because of all the stuff that I do. Um, right now it says USB connected. Select to copy files to and from your computer. Um, also, of course, it goes tells me about my email, a party that I had tonight, uh, that I have Gmail. That it was uh, I, up, up, I updated the application to the latest uh, version today. Now, USB connected, if I select that, it says USB connected, turn on USB storage. I push that right there, and as soon as that happens, it starts connecting to my computer. That's very good because what I'm going to do now is I'm actually preparing to put um, the vegan um, firmware onto this device. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clear out all of my Clockwork Mod backups. And the way I'm going to do that, and I'm going to go ahead and show how to do that on the computer. So I'm going to change focus from the G tablet over to my computer. Right there where it says Clockwork Mod. That's the folder we want to go into right here. So I go into the Clockwork Mod folder and then into Backup, which is up at the top. And right now I only have one backup there. I'm going to take that out of here anyway, only because I want the space. So I've got a folder right over here called Backups. And when it says GTAB, and as you can see, I have quite a few backups that I've been keeping. Now, on average, my backups are running uh, there. It looks like around 366 megabytes for this one. Um, that's because I have a lot of stuff that, I guess, gets backed up. Um, as you see, it goes pretty quickly. I mean, this is transferring right from the G tablet right now. As soon as that is done, um, I'm going to actually um, load up the, the latest... Uh, vegan beta 1.00 and I'm going to be flashing my G tablet with that so that's going to be a separate video from this one um, with this video I just wanted to kind of touch on some of the things in the notification bar alerts and uh, I guess I also wanted to discuss about uh, um, removing or backing up your backups from clockwork mod on the G tablet so anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I'm getting ready to make another one, so I need to uh, get moving on that. Thanks very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up or a comment. I really appreciate them. And uh, tune in for the next video, which is going to be uh, putting on the uh, vegan beta 1.00. Take care, everyone. Edge out.